Hello, everybody, and welcome to Manga Reflux episode, whatever the fuck cares. And we're doing Bleach 605 and a uh, recap of the Naruto arc, the Wave arc, or the Land of Waves arc, or whatever you want to call you it. You know what it is. Yeah, it's the first one that has been done to death in fanfiction. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, this is the first episode where we're going to be doing some Naruto, Naruto, Naruto retrospectives of each arc. There's going to be four for the first part, and then however many it ends up being for the second part. Are we going to we do the be fillers? Because I don't think I can bring myself to watch those. We're not going to be doing know. those. We're not, going to, we're not going to be doing the little iffy bits in between. Mm. So, just the major stuff that people actually care about. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, as usual, we're going to start with Bleach, because Bleach is the only one that's still running. <sighs> it's actually a really weird thing to think about that it outlasted Naruto, technically. <laughs> that's what you get for being a Bleach writer. That's, that's probably the wrong perspective to take on it, but... <laughs> <laughs> The fact, the thing is, this, this story should have ended so long ago that every chapter is just like a middle finger to the rest of the world. Mm. I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, it's. I, I don't know. The, like I, I, I got to applaud the guy for making this story last as long as it did. That, that's what that's what I'm trying to say. He he's uh he's managed to pull some stuff out of nowhere that. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes a lot of the time it's not, but he's keeping the story going. I guess it's laudable that he's made something out of nothing, even if that something is really not much of something at all. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. Bleach 605. And we open with... Sean Sway. Shinsui, thank you. I did write that in my notes, but I forgot how to these pronounce characters, it. man. Their names, their names, I forget them it's, because they never okay. actually do anything. So Shinsui shows up, and he's just like, "I really wish that all these buildings go back to their way after we beat up the Quincy's, because you know, physics." Yeah, because mm, that's like hoping. I get, I get what the author's trying to do. It's not that literal. I think he's like dreaming that it could all go back to the way it once was in a somewhat subtle manner. That's a theme I'm familiar with. Yeah. If they could revert all the way back, that sure would be nice. Mm. And to be fair, since the buildings are made of energy, I mean, they they probably regenerate. Yeah. Ever since the Quincy's imposed their whole thing over you know, Soul Society, Serite. <clears throat> Hopefully when they beat up the Quincy's, their home comes back and everything's fixed and they don't have to spend money and resources trying to rebuild. Because I feel like they do that enough already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we get Ukitake. His name is here, so I know what his name is. And where have you been the entire arc? Okay, at least he has an out most of the time. He's usually sick. Yeah, but... he's He looks like he's injured, actually, in this bit, because he's fucking bandaged up and shit. I can't remember if he always has those, or... I don't know. <clears throat> Who knows? Well, uh, he might have gotten hurt the first time they showed up. No, I don't remember if he fought. Hmm. Plus, their medic's dead, so, you know... Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> Be a problem oh, right. Did well. yeah. she not quite think that decision through? Like, no, she didn't. Like, hey, I, I have people that depend on me. I better go die for nothing. Mm. <clears throat> she 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 died for the Kenpachi Ramasama. All he did was beat Imagination Lad. I'm pretty sure anybody else could have done that. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kenpachi beats Imagination. <clears throat> not much of an Imagination. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if, if we are going with Casey's interpretation of this is what the guy is saying about the story, the tuck is, even if it's damaged, all we have to do is repair it, it's kind of hilarious. Mm. 
all we have to do is... Yeah, th- that doesn't quite fit into my interpretation, I admit. <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> those two are just talking right now. Yeah, it's kind of a run-on metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they mentioned the kamikake. And we get no explanation for what it is. But an so, ominous symbol. And it was apparently successful, whatever the fuck that means. Ukitake's shadow was the Illuminati. That's not the Illuminati. The Illuminati is a triangle. Well, a pyramid, technically, but not... So. I don't know how it looks like in Japan. <laughs> they have the Illuminati in Japan? Maybe I they do. I thought that was like an American invention. But, possibly European. I don't know. Maybe Ukitake is part of the Illuminati. I don't know. I don't know what I'm kind of confused about the importance of that, the shadow thing, though. I don't know it's, what kamikaze is. Kamikaze, it That's means it. divine presence. Though huh. usually it means swear to God. So, I'm just going to bet that it's a suicide technique. And because Ukitake is sick, then he's just going to be super powerful for a while and then die. Great. Uh... He said that it was successful as in if it already happened. It's already happened, so he has the power, so now we can go and use it, I guess, is my interpretation. It's a guess, but no. It's a shonen manga, so, so you can kind of expect yeah. that kind of crap. So as soon as we go to Central 46... You remember those guys? You remember those guys? <laughs> that we Yeah. The people who are Why? supposed to make all the decisions in Serite? For whatever reason? Yeah. And the last time they were mentioned, they were all murdered. They were dead. Yeah, they were slaughtered for like the fourth oh, time. Yeah. Who's replacing yeah. these people? <laughs> so then we get the chapter "Don't Call My Name" as the title, the chapter title. So, I get it. Yeah, right. you'll get Don't. it. You'll get it in a little bit. Don't call my name. Oh right, yeah, because yeah, okay. Yeah. They have the name. Alright, so Beard this Guy would be clever if it, this would almost be clever if it was about the Zump Octo, but it's not. Beard guy is just floor. painting on the floor, runs over, paints on the floor. <laughs> and uh Your Box, box is just watching that. this. He's just like okay. Okay. Can I just say the bit where he's painting and the next panel he's running away, it looks like it should have cartoon sound effects in a giggly little laugh like I <laughs> that dude's that dude's character design for some reason I like it yeah it's it's very jolly I know yeah he's like he's like Santa except mm. he's kills people well, well he doesn't if he's got a choice about it I mean we'll, we'll see in a bit he defends things so if somebody has to die in the process <clears throat> of defending it then there you go mm. and so Box is like yeah, Obligate. I can defeat. I can defeat you in three paces less. Obligatory mustache shot. <laughs> His mustache shot. <laughs> Obligatory okay. mustache shot. What's it's, the chapter? It's about the same size as last chapter. But I, th- I don't think it is. I think I it think, has, in fact, wait, now wait. grown around his face to his mutton chops. It has, it has gotten ex- bigger. Yeah. I think it's extended actually, rather than thick, the more horizontally. Yeah, it wraps around. I think it's shaping out. Yeah. <sighs> Like I, I saw that I saw that link that uh, I think it was Cynic's Rise that posted that. Yeah, with the growing uh, mustache. I I apologize, Cynic's Rise. That comment got lost into the YouTube ether. So I saved what I could, which was the link. That was all I saw of it. So this this is great because yeah, we're fine. it's a timeline of Yuha Box mustache <laughs> growth from it, beginning to now. It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense in the context of things. His mustache grows even when there's like a period of time of like barely anything. Maybe he's one of those people that just needs to shave like three times a day. Yeah. I Maybe the theory See, of battle the thing about, just grows. The thing about the mustache. <laughs> that thing wraps around right the way from under his nose, right the way around as a mustache up to his like cheeks and jawline. And that's Eastern European kind of hair growth. I mean, I have Central European hair growth because my dad was German. Mm-hmm. So I have a beard and a mustache, but it doesn't wrap around properly. The mustache sort of droops off, and then I get a beard around that. But his just goes right the way the fuck around his face, like horizontally. 
That kind of makes sense because, you know, the Quincy were like uh, Eastern, Central European kind of people. Kind of that area. All their shit is, sounds German. I don't know. All, all the shit is in German. All the techniques and stuff. So that kind of makes sense, but the... Uh, hmm. The timeline is a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. We're dealing with dead people, so I mean, I'm not really surprised. There shouldn't be mustache growth, though, because they're dead. There should be hair growth, technically, if you're dead, because you're not making more dead cells. Yeah, but this isn't his physical body. Is it not? I thought it had to be. Okay, so I don't. I still understand the <sighs> deal with the Quincy's. I'm still confused by the whole thing, because they technically have to be in a spiritual body because they were in Serite. Or do the whole weird conversion thing that I don't know, goes, but don't, they don't have Uehara. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore that. I just ignore that. It made no sense at the time. It makes no sense in hindsight or now. I just ignore it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, kanji. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. And there's no translator note or anything. No, it's, it's just a big wool with a kanji on it. I'll draw it out later in Google Translate and see if it comes up something legible. <laughs> My name yeah, no, is something... That's it. It just means yeah. kanji, I guess. And he's like, my name isn't something you can toss around so casually. Don't say my name. Chapter, chapter, chapter title. Yeah. Beard necklace. <laughs> I guess those are supposed to be prayer beads or something? Yeah, or? yeah, they are. Yeah, it's like a religious dude. Then uh, Juha Bot learns to not talk to the hand. I like to call this the divine bitch slap. <laughs> series, yeah, series of uh, divine bitch slaps. It's like, just you see his eyes open and how long <laughs> he doesn't even have a mouth in this panel on like page eleven. It's just his mustache, eyes open wide, and his mustache. Mm. I think that's the reason why the mustache grew as it did, so we can have shots like this. Hmm. Well, he wouldn't need to draw as much of his face. Yeah. We're just... That's a by Joe face, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that hand, that's a big hand. It is. Also, you how Bach probably wouldn't get hit by the palm. it just sort of go under the wrist, you know, because he's tiny compared to the hand. Be quiet. Yeah. This is a this is a story, and it's 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 good, and it's it's drawn and written accurately all the time. Yeah, it's it's not but like it, he get pushed though. He just gets squished under it. <laughs> but how is that cool? That's not as we cool don't as talk as about physics by a gigantic divine hand. We don't talk about physics and <clears throat> actual measurements and bleach. Yes, the only Maybe if he jumped to accommodate the fact that it's up in the air. The only physics that matter in sh- things like this is the rule of cool, and rule of cool says getting slapped by a giant hand is cooler than being squished under the flat of the palm of a giant hand. Yeah, rule of cool also says that all blood and everybody should be pressurized. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. Also, also technically speaking, I really have to shit on everyone's day to day, but that's technically not a slap. That's a that's a palm thrust. It's a it's slap. A palm I don't care. It's, 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 it's a palm strike. Yeah, I, I know. I know the technique. I don't care. It's a slap to me. It's even. It's not even. A, it's not even a correct palm strike. It's just. It's just a. It's just. A, a, I'm pushing my hand out. It's mm. like a like a Isaac Golden Sun talk to the hand. That's a shove. How do we know it's not shove. slightly curved, so it counts as a slap? <laughs> The thumb's not. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. So, this technique is called the heaven piercing palm of a thousand ri. I assume ri is a Japanese unit of measurement. So it's ri rather than rai. Anything that comes into contact with a thousand ri range will be sent flying <clears throat> without prejudice. Even if my friends were to come, they'd be sent flying. If my mother were to come and bring me cakes, she'd be sent flying. Everybody sent flying. Are you paraphrasing, or does it literally say that in your version? No, it doesn't, it doesn't literally say that. I think Zero just has a thing against his mom today. I don't know. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, 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 it's basically set up, and you're just like, can't touch this. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. 
So even if he didn't send it out like a gigantic palm strike, it would have still sent him flying no matter what. Yeah, yeah. and Yuha Bark is clearly eating his mustache <laughs> in the bottom of the <laughs> He looks like a Muppet. It's probably he looks like, like he's about to extend his jaw out forward so he can... <laughs> um, um, he looks like a Muppet. Um, In that um, one shot right there, he looks like a Muppet. It's great. Probably why he's not countering because he's too busy choking on his beard here trying to get that shit out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. It's appropriate for once, then. It's definitely long enough to get stuck in his mouth. Mm. Yeah, and then... I also, I also love this panel, this next page panel. You might just get your throat crushed. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of. That's he looks like very a, goofy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he looks like a gopher or a chipmunk or something. Yeah, a gopher. <laughs> and the shade you know, of, by the pop strike. The shade of his face so it looks all ominous. <laughs> yeah, Joe Box just yeah, flying. You can't make He's this like, guy look ominous. You just you can't. Mm. You can make him ominous in the Dude, way that you can make animatronics <laughs> ominous in Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, you can do that, though. Yeah. Uh, so, no. I wouldn't want so, to see that guy in an alley with that face. So, when you come back, make sure you've repented. And you help out gets in flying. Or does he? No, he doesn't. No. <clears throat> He like stabs himself. He's right? like, he's like, I'm gonna shoot myself full of arrows. <clears throat> he's like, oh, I don't want to have to walk a thousand ry re. What the hell is a re anyway? If I can, Google that I'm not shit. doing that. I'm gonna stab myself so I don't have to. I will well, first, he his throat so he could talk, and then I don't know why he just shot himself. I would but rather stab like myself in the like... chest to travel <clears throat> back the distance that you said I was going to travel. So, yeah. That is a special kind of laziness. <laughs> it is. Shoots himself through the chest several times. But we and... just see the one. I mean... Yeah, just one. Yeah. We see lots of different shots coming out. And, um... Yeah, apparently it hits the guy. It causes him to bleed a little bit. And at the we end on the final page. You have shot your own body with arrows to force yourself back here. You're indeed truly really terrifying. And then we get like the creepiest panel of this guy so far at the bottom. Yeah, the whole white eyes thing. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Also, it looks like his mustache has grown. Yeah, of course. Not that it needed to. Your Baka said nothing this entire chapter. Well, no, he totally did. He, he said, "I." Oh, I don't want myself to... oh, with the voice. His incantation to get himself <laughs> the ability to talk again. And uh, so this dude, like, he's just—I feel like he's about to say, "This isn't even my final form." Like, mm-hmm. I've got one more form after this. I'm betting this guy's ability is very similar to the. Leader guy's ability from Hunter Hunter. It was just in that it was just summoning a giant Buddha style statue that would slap you like a thousand times or something. Huh. I feel like this is gonna be kind of thing like that. I've already seen that recently. Uh... Yeah, I think Admiral Sengoku did the same thing in One Piece. Yeah, and fucking Hashirama made a gigantic wood thing with like a thousand arms and shit. Friggin yeah, Admiral, you see that kind of thing a lot. Son Goku, I have the Buddha Buddha fruit. <laughs> Basically, yeah. what he says, he just turns into giant gold Buddha, and what does he do? We don't know. At the time he just shows up, he's just like, okay, you're giant Buddha. Congrats. Sorry, it wasn't a Buddha. I think it was like, uh, is the term Bodhisattva? Maybe I don't. I don't know. Like. Eastern philosophies, like Far Eastern philosophies, I don't know. Also, That's... one thing of note, uh, Yuha Bosch doesn't need to say the guy's name for him to summon those fists. He just, he just The second one, he just did that. Yeah. So he could just start throwing those around wherever he wanted. I think the question is, deal. why do you even need to say the guy's name? I don't even understand that. It's, it's left no... 
Does this guy just have a complex about his name being called? Like, Pretty when he much. was in class, did somebody, like, write down his name and, like, make fun of it on the teacher's roll <clears> calls? <throat> the teacher called him something funny instead, and he got all upset? Like, I don't know. What kind of, what, what would cause a trauma like that? Okay, I think we have a bleach question, or I do. Anyone have any good ones that they want to ask? Nope. Nope. Yeah. Okay. What Eastern mythology thing are you sick of in manga and anime? That's a good one. Because we see a lot of them. Like the Yamata no Orochi thing with fucking snakes and shit, and we see... Asura. Uh, Susanoo, we see... Ashura and Indra, we see all that stuff. We see Buddhas all the, th- all the fucking time. Yeah. So, which of these things are you sick of? I mean, we do the same thing in Western... Not to be... Not to treat it like I'm being racist or anything, but we do the same thing in Western cultures. Like, fucking... The amount of times that you see... Knights of the Round Table style stories is kind of silly. Well, the amount There's of times lot, you yeah. see... The amount of times you see... Alice Warland parody type stuff in Japan, like in anime uh, and manga and everything. This person's name is Alice, and, and then this person looks like a rabbit. Ha ha ha! You get it? You get it? Yeah. And we often harken back to fucking Greek mythology and Norse mythology and all that stuff. It's it's a thing that happens over here too. I'm not saying that yeah. we're completely innocent of overusing mythological features, but, you know, it's, you see these kind of things a lot in manga and anime. They just take some liberties with introducing concepts that they've seen a thousand times before, and now, by extension, we have also seen them a thousand times before. <laughs> so, that's the question for this one. Yay. Uh, and for the Naruto uh, retrospective, we'll call it, because... This is already technically a recap for the chapters, so we'll call this the Naruto Retrospective. Uh, For the Land of Waves arc, as it is titled in the Naruto wiki, which I'm looking at for a summary. Is it just the wave arc, or do we have to include, like, the first part where they're in the village? We should probably include the first part with the fucking intro. So, this was the introduction that we got to the characters, basically... And Naruto's an annoying idiot, Sasuke is a brooding idiot, and Sakura is a love struck idiot. And Kakashi's a lazy idiot. They're all kind of dumb. Pretty much. We see. And yeah. we have an entire class of extras, basically. Yeah, sometimes if I'm actually you see what happens to those extras, most of the time not. <laughs> it's I I almost wish they took the Ruby route and they just had black silhouettes. They may as well have, really. I think there was one character that was given a little bit of characterization. Ami, uh, and it was Sakura Ami. fully. Yeah, and that was about it. We'd never see any of them again, even that one. <laughs> yeah. So, this arc and this intro. So, yeah, let's... Let's talk about the bell test, because that was... Not well thought out, I think. For what they were doing at the time with the series, which was a lot of dealing with deception and trickery and stuff like that, because Ninja, you know, that was okay. I mean... It introduced the concept that not everything is as it seems, which would be the theme for the first half of the first part, I guess. Up until the end of the tuning exams, at least. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so that was okay. The whole trying to inspire teamwork by pitting people against each other is a little bit strange. No, it's, yeah. it's stupid, because consider what team they are. It's going to be the best, the best, and the worst. Naturally, they're not going to get along. I mean, expecting them to be 
have teamwork is it's just stupid. Okay, so we've that. got two bells right here, and two of you are good. One of you isn't, so uh, guess who's not having lunch today? Or is going to be a ninja. I feel Ever. And also, we have the first example of Sakura being completely useless in this arc. I feel in like... This- Sequence, at least. Like like yeah. yeah. A little bit in a team know. where she is one of the better examples. It's supposed to be the best, the best, and the worst, and one of the best ends up being the worst. This was overlooked at the time, but little did we know this would be the start of a very long series of events. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you had just added another condition to the bell test, like, say, for example... Like, if one person got a bell, they could potentially share it with somebody else. Or something that would inspire teamwork. Then, okay, I'd be okay. But this is just, you guys come at me, and, uh, yeah. You know, I can see that actually working. Mm. Because of the whole love triangle crap. But, oh, the love triangle. (sighs) Yeah. But yeah, uh, for that. Yeah. So many things that were wrong with this series could have been saved if they had not included that love triangle. I feel like. Yeah. This is this is one of those rare occasions where I feel like a manga should be less. Uh, Give less. No, details. it should be it. Sh- it should be more chaste. Yeah, that's that's the way I feel about this. Like, love should not be a word that's thrown around by twelve year olds. That's creepy for one thing, and uh, like they avoided that entire thing until much later in Harry Potter. Mm. Yeah, it was book six by the time they decided to say, "Hey, these are teenagers with teenagers' hormones. Maybe they should be thinking about fucking all the time." <laughs> About two years too late, but I mean, yeah, pretty much. But still, it wasn't, like, second book. Mm. <clears throat> I mean... Well, no, if the story was about Dean Thomas, I think they would have brought it in, like, the the, the last half of the first year. <laughs> but, you know. Mm. Yeah. Or Seamus, that was the one, Seamus. I, I feel like we shouldn't have even had to worry about that for much later. Also, yeah. uh, should Naruto have been tied to the post? I mean, I mean, I think the reason gave in canon was that he tried to steal one of the lunches, so he was tied to it no matter what his performance was. Because he definitely wasn't the worst one in that test. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, ninja-wise, he kind of was. But... Sort of. He wasn't exactly very ninja like but since when has the series ever been about ninjas in the very beginning which is what we're talking about so in fairness right. at the time it was a parameter that was being established that he was a pretty shitty ninja so him being a pretty shitty ninja makes sense that he would be given the shittier end of the stick yeah. mm. do you remember when being a decent ninja matters yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I've said this I before but don't. I remember I remember watching like the cheating exam arc in the one where they're go- they're going to the tower, and Sasuke is like swimming yeah. underwater with a fucking reed in his mouth so he can breathe underwater. I'm like, what the fuck? How did it go from that to I'm gonna nuke your town? Yeah, because that's uh, is funny like that. I guess it it escalated it had to become... too suddenly. Like it was a sudden escalation. It had been going for well over a year by that point. That's a long time to deal with deception and trying to think of ways to trick and deceive and deceive and trick and over again. It's a long time to deal with that, and escalating that would be hell. Trying to write something where deceptions escalate again and again and again and again would be maddening for the writer. I think the I, I think the main problem is that you can't truly write in a, like a more like a very legitimate ninja manga as shonen because they assassinate people all the time and they are they deal with a lot more stuff 
I think. Yeah. As a battle manga, it doesn't. Yeah. It, it's not a good concept. Yeah. Also, you have to deal with smarter characters. Yeah. Yeah. You, have you your protagonist do. be a, a moron. I almost said a bad word. <laughs> is probably not a good idea when you need when the concept is designed designed around being tricky and deceptive and intelligent and well thought out. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised by how little, <clears throat> how how few of the ninjas in this manga in this use poison because poison's kind of one of the most potent things a ninja has at his disposal yeah Anko does Eno should but she doesn't at least not to a degree that's we see it's it yeah, yeah but it, it's typically she's an A kind of does I think yeah but it's typically something that's part of every ninja's repertoire mm-hmm but, I don't even uh, have to anyways. use all my fingers on both hands to count the characters that actually use poison in a real capacity in this series. You don't even need one hand, really. Yeah, I think it'd fail on one hand. Even then, it's being generous. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, Conqueror, Hanzo, uh, Sasori. Uh, um. And when they use it, it's effective. <laughs> Orochimaru. Okay, so maybe you need two hands. I did not realize we were using villains. So, yeah, there is more than I expected, but not by much. And when they use it, it's typically very effective. But it's a villain's weapon. Oh, great. There you go, because it's dishonorable. But ninjas aren't heroes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) They're not. They they should never be heroes. They they fight. Even in this, they fight for money. Mm -hmm. And they kill people. That's the whole premise of being a ninja. You fight for money and you kill people. God, how weird would the original concept be if they tried to make it heroes stuff? But it's literally about mercenaries. I don't Not know. Not even ninja, but actual mercenaries. <laughs> oh, that would be weird. All right, so moving on to the actual mm. recap. They have the whole bell test. And that happens, and... Teamwork by way of turning them against each other because that's productive. That's a great way to build a unit. And then yep. after the bell test, that's we have D ranks, which were pointless yeah. in every sense. They Paid really chores, were pretty much. And uh, yeah, I guess it's a real world kind of scenario that they're trying to play here. Like, hey, congratulations, you're out of school now. You get a shitty job. Yeah. I've had it done. Yeah. I've seen it done, like in uh, tuning exam day, where they're actually teaching chakra techniques and stuff. But, well, they're supposed to be, yeah. but Kakashi sucks at it. So yeah. So yeah. Wave arc is immediately after the uh, bell test. That's when it starts. Episode six. Yeah. So we get the the Genin uh, demanding a C rank. Yeah. Because that's military protocol. Yeah, Kakashi's cool with it. (laughs) It's not, but I mean, can you really see Kakashi doing that in any time, reasonable time frame? Probably when he ran out of money. D-ranks don't pay well. I'm of the assumption he gets paid mostly by just his job. He gets paid weekly or something for being a teacher. That makes sense. So... And you you got to supplement the income for Jonin that are expecting... Pay of like B and A rank. Here missions. we go. That while they're on their mission, they get attacked by two Chunin, one of which uses poisonous metal gauntlets. There you go. There's some poison. And it's a villain. Yeah, and it's, it's a villain. Yeah. Point proven. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> yeah. So again, another example of deception being the word of the day for this this entire arc, really. You know, I just realized this is where the uh, this is where Ninja Bridge pointed out something. It's uh, the morale, the really confusing morality of being a ninja. Like the the enemies are hiding, so they're the bad guys. The enemies are the, hiding, and they use poison, and they kill people, so they're the bad guys. And we're the ninjas, Seven is just walking along, minding their own business, so they're the good guys. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's... I can't really fault them for that, because that wasn't really the focus of the 
the villain characters. It was that they were missing then. It's that they were doing it for themselves rather than the establishment, I guess. They were doing it for themselves rather than the village. Which is a fine stance to take. I guess, yeah. It's I, I, regulated violence yeah. is okay. But when you're doing it for yourself and just basically being bandits with superpowers, then that's kind of dickish. Yeah. yeah. Kill for your country. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, yeah. It's not like that's an unpopular stance. Uh, mm. Let's not get political, shall we? Yeah, please don't. <clears throat> so, yeah. They kill the fucking... Sorry. I apologize. Someone called me out on saying fucking is a stopgap word. I don't and mind. I should probably... I, I don't really care either, but someone does, so I should probably try and cut back on it. Just, you know, and that was Ethan, I, by the way. Yeah. My friend. My lovely friend. And he had a, a legitimate complaint, so I should probably cut down on that. It interferes with my day to day because I do it then as well. Right. I need I need to develop a filter so I don't just randomly swear in the middle of a crowd like I tend to do. <clears throat> so, uh, they kill the people. Did they kill the them? Ninja. Do they? I don't think they uh, did. Uh, I don't know what they did. Once it's never the clear attackers what they did. had been restrained, Naruto bled out the poison he had received. Swearing upon the pain in his hand ever to freeze up and leave his friends to fend for themselves right. ever again. Because good yeah. guys don't That's kill people who are already beaten. <laughs> they just send him back to the village for painful, painful interrogation. Yeah. And execution. Yeah. Kinda. But we're not gonna talk about that. This is shonen. Yeah, let's not get hung up on the gritty realities of warfare and violence and... Ninjas. And mercenaries. Uh, oh, well. So, they decide to keep going on the mission, even though it's totally bullshit and, you know, fraud. Yeah. That whole thing. Uh, this was a weird introduction to the whole mercenary concept. Yeah. yeah. You know, they don't even ask for more money. Uh, <laughs> I think it's kind of assumed they'll get paid later. Like, I don't it's know. like... This is a C rank mission, but we got uh, lots of people that are actually way more stronger than a C rank. They're not like the the, the first reaction should be, um, well, it's going to cost, cost you more money. money. It's going to cost you more. You know why? Because we're mercenaries and we're doing this for our village. So mm -hmm. if we're going to be stuck with all this crap, at least pay us more. Yeah, I like Kakashi's interpretation in one of. Some fan I can't recall which one, where he's like, you know, if you'd have told us about this, that your whole, like, village or land or whatever was being held hostage, we probably would have done this mission pro bono. It's good for, like, publicity and stuff. I remember that's, something like that, too. <laughs> or that. that. That was good. I like that. that that's, that's pretty realistic, actually. And we would have because... sent more powerful ninjas who could take yeah. this easily and then spread our name as, hey, look, we're powerful and we're good guys. That, yeah. They have that reputation already, though. That's what makes I know, but they can, they can spread even... They, I don't know, they can spread even more. <laughs> they have the good guy vibe from, like, rival villages, but the general populace are a little bit because it's still ninjas, as yeah. far as they're yeah. concerned. The ninjas aren't killing everyone, though, that dissatisfies them like they would in some other countries, though. Mm. And it's like, it's the what have you done for me lately concept, and it's like, right. oh yeah, these, these guys recently, like, within a span of months, just saved an entire land from a, a tyrannical despot. Yeah. Ninja dude. Ninja dude. And, for the free. Yeah, and... That's super good publicity and will bring in a lot of missions. So it makes sense that it would be done for free. But none of that is brought up here, obviously. Because, <laughs> you know, we're doing it because we're good guys! Yay! Alright, so they get to the land of waves. And... And attacked. Yeah. The bunny rabbit thing. Was that a thing? That was a in thing. In the actual series? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah was a thing. That they were tipped off by a bunny rabbit being the wrong color. I think Kakashi realizes it, yeah. 
See, this is what I was talking about with the deception escalating. Where do you go up from that? It's a fucking bunny rabbit. Who notices bunny rabbits? Who knows enough about bunny rabbits to know their natural habitats for every breed? See, that's different because the, the teacher realizes it. If the, t- the students would have, then it, mm. it would be a learning experience, but he doesn't ever tell them about it. Yeah. Yeah. And then Zabaza appears. Yay! Zabaza. The strangely ninja like non ninja. He's a missing nin. He's he's a swordsman. Like, not even the subtle, hey, I have this tiny sword that I can use <laughs> really, really well. They, he's the. I have a sword that's the size of a steel beam, and I'm going to swing it at your face and knock your face off. You should off. see how I assassinate people with this sword. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So cool. It's so cool. Yeah. It's quiet Self kills awesome. up the wazoo. You wish you could see how I kill people with this sword. <laughs> <laughs> the sweetest stealth kills in all the land. And that is not an exaggeration. He... Sometimes I use the hole inside my sword to do it. <laughs> he he uses the hidden mist technique, and then he goes on his spiel about uh, fucking throat, lungs, whatever, all the weak points in the human body. <laughs> he hits you once with that sword. He hits all of those weak points. <laughs> I feel like his sword is used for a lot of decapitation. It is the head cutting sword. Clues oh in the name. Yeah. <laughs> also, I, I, I really want his really rant to end with, and I don't need to specifically aim for any of them because who cares when you have a giant ass sword? Yeah. So, and we get the introduction of other clone techniques that Naruto never bothers to learn. Well, the is, water clone technique. It is Yay. kind of the best, so he didn't really have to learn any other ones. Best. Uh, it water seems clone. like the Earth clones, you can only make one of them, so they're the closest match, but not really. Water clones are also weaker, but you can make more yeah. of them. But the thing is, you, Naruto himself could make an Earth clone, and then make like a dozen water clones, and then a thousand shadow clones. And that's a force multiplier beyond a force multiplier, because then... Well, one, it brings in the deception thing again, because you don't know which one is the stronger one, and which one is the durable one, and which one is the, fucking, I don't know, decent portion of his strength rather than just a tiny portion. Now, you see, if they, I think if they wrote it like that, his fights would get more formulaic than they already were. <sighs> yeah, but his fights always consisted of Shadow Clone Spawn anyway. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. Anyway, yeah. So they fight the Zabaza, and they win. Sort of. Um, the Genin freeze. Like I like that bit, where they actually freeze up in the face of real dangerous combat. And Naruto, who has already done that and gotten past it, is like, "No, we need to do something." I like that. That was yeah. okay. It is, yeah. <clears throat> and Kakashi's a moron, as has been pointed out over and over again in fan fiction, with the whole Zabuza needs to keep his hand in the water prison technique. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to think that the outside of the ball is really hardened, or at least thicker, so he can't actually get his hand that close. <laughs> I have no idea. It's the end, of the tennis, yeah, I guess. They, they sort of win. They end up going to Tazana's home. Oh, Tazana. Mm-hmm. And his family. And his family. What's the general opinion of Inari? Fuck that kid. Yeah, he yeah. annoys the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, same here. He's a plot piece. He's not a character yeah. until, like, the end. He exists as plot. That's literally his only purpose. And that's yeah. usually his only purpose in fan fiction, too. Yeah, usually he's just there and then they ignore him and then they they just let things play out as normal because they don't want to be 
shitty to a kid. I mean, it's it's different if you're going to bash Sasuke and Sakura because they're Sasuke and Sakura, but little kid that's only purpose is there to be miserable because he has a, a decent reason to be miserable. Uh, that's that's probably not cool. So they sure. just let it pass and do things the way that Canon did it. Yeah. But yeah, Inara's annoying as shit. Yeah. And Kakashi is injured because he's injured. Because he needs to be injured. Yeah. So... Yeah, because that would, if he wasn't injured, then that would mean they would be able to attack Zabuza's camp or try and find it and do actual ninja shit rather than just I waiting. I have to wonder, Kakashi in crutches, you know, he climbs up the tree... Would you put chakra into your crutches? I assume you would have to. I've I've like, seen I mean, that mentioned can... in fix before that that's harder than just what the Ganon have to do. So it is kind of impressive. Yeah. So I imagine he'd have to because if if he wasn't, then he would be able to walk up the tree on his own, which would mean he would be able to walk on his own. Why is he using the crutches? <laughs> so <laughs> against gravity, which makes it even more baffling. Yeah. So he has to be using Chakra and the crutches as well. That makes sense. And tree climbing, which is the first ninja thing that Kakashi has actually taught them. Yeah. You know, it's kind of funny that he didn't teach them this before they left. Yeah, some technique or something. Well, technically... I don't know whether it's a fair counterpoint that the Genin rushed him into taking a C-rank mission, because he wouldn't have taken one ever anyway. Like, but, at the very least, we're going to the land of waves. I'm going to teach you guys how to walk up, how to walk up trees and how to walk on water. That way, he, you don't... He doesn't teach them that. Yeah, I know, but that's how, you sh- that's how it should have happened. It should have been like, I need to prep you for this, at least a little bit. Just wait a day. It can be assumed they're going to need to run across water at some point in an in a island nation. Yeah. A place named the Land of Waves might be a tip-off, yeah. That would that would have been. Uh, in fact, you could have just said, "Screw teaching them to walk on trees, and we teach them how to how to stand on water at the very least." Considering the last fight happened on water, yeah. Yeah, like I'm saying, you know, it's, you got to prioritize your lessons, Kakashi. You had well, lessons. The, the, lessons in general, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, I, the implication is walking on water is a hell of a lot harder than climbing trees, so. It makes sense that he would start there, at least, yeah. because uh, Naruto and Sasuke kind of suck at climbing trees. And it takes them the entire time that they're there to learn how, so... At least they both have reasons, though. Yeah. Uh, I know Naruto's. What was Sasuke's reason for sucking at it? He gets so focused on other people, he doesn't actually focus on his own. Oh, uh, okay. I cannot remember. I don't think he had one, aside from the whole rival aspect. Mm. Like, oh crap, he's, getting, good, he's getting higher up, so I have to get higher up. Oh man, I wasn't paying attention. Mm. Um, we lost Kent temporarily, so we're gonna... Just give that a couple of seconds, see whether he comes back in. Maybe. Okay, we'll just keep going. Right. Oh, Kent's back, okay. Yeah, yeah. So... Haku. Haku. Trap. I don't care what anybody said. That's a woman. Okay. I don't Such care. a trap. It is a delicious trap. <laughs> you have hit it. <laughs> Such. Uh... Yeah, Why? This, w- this was a trap that was such a trap that the fanfiction authors have turned it into a trap that was a trap for a trap. So Every fanfiction author I've ever seen, Haku's a girl. Done? I've, no. Yeah. No, Haku is not a guy. Haku is a, <laughs> Haku's basically thinks that she's a guy, but Haku is really a girl. Or pretending to be for obvious reasons. Yeah, that's the one I go with. Although it's not a very solid theory, but whatever. It's a weird thing how focused on this character the Naruto community, if you want to call it that, can be. Like, well, it's the first meaningful lesson Naruto has, so, and it is the basis of his character for, what, the rest of the series? And it's a character that died. 
I've seen so there are so few of those that that's yeah. kind of important. I've seen I guess. so many fix where Haku just like oh <laughs> Haku never died, Haku's still alive. Everyone loves Haku. Everybody does. Yeah. There's no reason to not like Haku. Yeah, it undermines the whole concept of the arc, but uh, whatever. Fan fiction, fan fiction will do what fan fiction will do. So, Haku is like, yeah, I think if you protect people, that's good and shit. Yeah. yeah. But well, if you have specific message, people yeah? you're protecting, you get stronger because yeah. you have an actual goal in mind. Yeah, so that was a lesson. And then, you know, Anari won't believe it. I know that Naruto can win. He doesn't believe it. Oh, uh, yeah, that whole... We've talked about Anari. let's not... Yeah, he's just like, oh, no, no, you're never going to win, no. You can't understand my pain. You'll never do it. And then we get to the round two. <laughs> Round two, as it's called in the fucking wiki, <laughs> I guess. That's, that's the name. <laughs> uh, so Haku uses ice. Had we really been, like, introduced to elements in general before this? Uh, in the bell test, Sasuke used a fireball, and Sasuke, yeah, or, Sasuke I, can use Kakashi fire, mentioned but... that it was chakra intensive, so we shouldn't know it or something. And that was the water stuff. It's obviously yeah. Good. Right, yeah. Okay. So, little bits. But ice was the first weird one that we saw, apparently. Sub-element, which is what they do yeah. now. That's the first time we saw those. And I don't... I doubt they were actually considered sub-elements at the time. I, because it was like 50 or like 100 chapters before they even started thinking about, hey, what element are you? Kind of thing. I, yeah. I I have to admit I do like the Haku fight because it's just okay. This is a ninja that works on deception, and they do yeah, a very this interesting is the way. Lord Mirror style shit it was cool. Yeah, it was. Sorry. <sighs> <laughs> you know, Haku shows up just like ice to meet you. Really. <laughs> Put a chill on my spine. I feel guilty just calling out my own pun. <laughs> because zero. Ah. Dude, just chill out. It's all cool. Okay. Here. Yeah. Okay, let's so, get back to the slippery slope that is Nardo. That's not a pun. Uh, yeah, so... I'm trying. Sasuke is fighting Haku and losing, basically. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Losing pretty bad. Mm. Again, fire against ice, you think that would... You th you know. it, it, works, it works in Mega Man. It works in everything. Actually, it doesn't work in Fairy Tail because for some reason Natsu can't beat Grey. I have never understood that. I never will. At least there's a reason for Haku winning, because it's not really ice. It's like sort of crystal. At least his mirrors. <clears throat> mm. Or her, sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's it's weird. Like, the whole elemental thing is strange just entirely because of the whole... Lightning can beat Earth thing, but you know whatever the, we can't we can't analyze the element battle thing at all because of that. Just that alone makes no sense. So uh, <clears throat> we get to see in here the most important moment in all of Naruto. Sasuke protects Naruto. Okay. Recent revelations. How do we how do we interpret this action? You don't. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because he didn't just protect him, he protected him for no reason. Or rather, reasons that Sasuke isn't even aware of. His body moved on its own, or I think that was a specific wording. Okay. 
Like... This moment was what established the whole bro bond, if anything. Yeah, this brothers is, in arms kind of thing. And this is the only real moment of that you get to see. Or one of the few, at the very least. Very, very, very few. Yeah, I think immediately after this is the tuning exams, and that all goes to shit immediately, yeah. so... Yeah. We were friends! He, he, took, he took a blow for you, and then you fell in love. Basically. <laughs> That's basically what happened. That's a good pun. That's a good pun. I'll give you that one. That's good. You didn't realize it was a pun, did you? You'll never know. Okay. So, yeah, Sasuke saves Naruto. You could make some interpretations based on recent events that Sasuke was starting to see Naruto like his actual brother. But I feel like that was a thing that happened later, kind of. For the most part. Also, if he was doing that at this point, he probably wouldn't have wanted to kill him. Rather than save him. Yeah. No, I think I think the whole idea of Sasuke seeing Naruto like Itachi was Sasuke started to look up to Naruto. Not that he actually saw him as Itachi. That's yeah, pretty much. A bit too literal of an interpretation, but yeah. Also, the two are nothing alike. At least yeah. not, not at this point in the story. Not at any point in the story. It, uh, trying to compare Itachi and Naruto is like... It just makes you really depressed that Naruto is the main <laughs> character again. <laughs> yeah. I would have I would have read a manga with Zabuza as a main character. I would have read a manga with even Itachi as Let's, the main character. That's the question that we need to, like, think... That, that's so fair, though. We'll get, we'll get I'll, to that. I'll get, into all my, I'll get into my list. Yeah, we... I think we all have lists, to be honest with you. There I, are so I don't. many. Oh, wow. You could just... We could just name any character. But, you know, whatever. Uh, so, they fight uh, Naruto. I think Naruto goes, like, sort of one-tail mode here. I don't even think he uses a tail. I think it's just it's uh yeah. it's what the fandom is pretty much dubbed half tail. Yeah, he doesn't have the cloak yet, but he does have the chakra running through him. That makes sense. I like that term, half tail or no tail. I guess that's that. It, that one's used a lot more. No tail state. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, he goes super rage beast mode kind of thing, and. Doesn't win. He still kind of doesn't win, and it's only because Kakashi wins that Haku gets killed. So wait, mm. doesn't isn't that fight over because uh, that happens? I thought oh, he was wait, about right. to land uh, the finishing blow. Yeah, Naruto was about to win, kind of, and then Haku sees that Zabuza is about to die, so jumps in. I'm pretty sure I've been referring to Haku as a woman the entire time. Just out of habit. <laughs> Whoops. So, yeah, self-sacrifice and all that stuff, because that ended that ended up being a theme a lot later in the series. Hey, you know what yeah. would have been interesting? If Naruto had restrained Haku, and Haku wouldn't have died. <laughs> Seen a lot. Or was that your point? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. You have. I've seen. I've seen it a lot. I've not seen it done in detail or pseudo realistically, like how Haku would actually interpret that. I've seen that a lot. Like, hey, we're going to ship these two characters now. No, I've never. I've never seen it done as real people would probably react to that sort of thing. Yeah. The only time I've seen that realistically done is if. Uh, Zabuza specifically passed like ownership of her onto Naruto, so she saw him as his role, sort of. Realistically, uh, <laughs> that's. I'm not sure how realistic that would be, but sure. Zabuza's so um, freaking cool. Hmm? Zabuza's so freaking cool. I never liked him. I like his like sword. I, I got to like episode ten, and I was like. This villain sucks, so I stopped watching the anime. So, wow, that was I early. I liked him. 
Mm. Mm. Well, but yeah, Zabaza. I never actually saw Zabaza's death, so I guess that means I didn't get to the cool part. So you sure yeah. didn't. Yeah. yeah. So Gato showing up and being an absolute dickhole and an idiot. Not like, not too smart. No. Spectacular idiot. Because ninjas have, you know... Superpowers? They have actually shaped the geography of the world. Yeah. So... In a major continental way. Not mm. just like, there used to be a mountain there, I guess, and now it's a bunch of mountains, just smaller. Hmm. Well, there used to be a mountain there, and now it's a desert. Yeah. Well, look at that valley. That wasn't there 50 years ago. Yeah. That would to be fair, yesterday. if, Zab- yeah. if uh, Gato would have waited, like, I don't know, three minutes, he probably would have been fine. Yeah. Well, actually, if Gato hadn't shown up at all, he might have been okay, and then gotten another ninja to set some sort of explosion off on the bridge or something. That'd probably work, too. Yeah, what the fuck happened to that? Why can't you just blow the fucking bridge up? Yeah. It's, it's not stated in the show... But my interpretation is always that he's going to use the bridge as his own. So he does He does want a bridge there. He just doesn't want the village to control it. Right. Okay. This whole lock's weird, then. That makes no sense. It's just... No. This was a poorly conceived hero plot. Hero saves the day, rescues the beleaguered town from the despot, and that's... Basically, the lessons Naruto gets out of this is, one, if you protect somebody, you are at your maximum power. And two, live your life your own way and don't let others tell you how to live, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the snaps that sold it. Um. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is how so, Naruto got his groove back. Yeah. yeah. Strong, so, he's a strong, independent black woman. Don't need no man. So, <laughs> so he does need a man, though. Yeah. Sasuke. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Um... So, Team Sevens, yay, we save the day, the bridge gets finished, Naruto gets the bridge named after him, because... because I feel I like... should have been mentioned more than, like, when yeah. Team Hawk <laughs> ran through three years from now. That would have been added on the end of every introduction I gave everybody for the rest of my life, until it's yeah. been cool. I've been like, hey, I'm Naruto, <laughs> there's a bridge named after me in this country, you should go see it, so yeah. it's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's, it is a pretty big bridge. I know, right? It is a sweet bridge. Yeah, it, it's kind of like one of the most important bridges in the entire town. Yeah, this bridge, named after me, connects an entire country to the mainland. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. You yeah. Mm. You, you, buy, my, buy my merch. Buy my Menardo bridge merch. It's got my yeah. face on it and a bridge. Yeah. Little toy bridges. Yeah, little toy bridge, <laughs> and you can get a Naruto action figure. You can get an action figure as I was in Haku, too. So you can replay the fight that I won. <laughs> yeah, because I totally had a massive impact. Yeah, on totally. Why else would you be named after me? <laughs> buy them all, and you get the coward Sasuke and coward Sakura dolls. <laughs> yeah, if I remember right, he did have a a reasonable stake in that fight, even before the whole No Tail State thing. Yeah, I mean they were barely surviving, yeah. but they were doing it evenly at least. Yeah. Okay, so what did Sakura do in prob- that fight? Prob- Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> the problem is, she was supposedly protecting Tazuna or something. So, the problem is, if Naruto hadn't been in that fight, nothing would have changed. Sasuke would have gone down just the same way he did normally, and uh, Kakashi would have won the fight against Zabuza, and Haku would have sacrificed himself. Yeah, basically. And, yeah. So Kakashi's the hero that we got, but not the hero we deserved, needed, or wanted. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, fucking Naruto. Oh, 
Christ. Okay, so they go home and stuff, and then we get tuning exams. So, that's the retrospective for Naruto, the Land of Waves arc. That's the first one. Out of many. <laughs> uh, there's probably 15 official arcs. I would need to look it up, but, you know, whatever. When are we going to end up what, doing the breaker? Yeah. I don't know. When we're done with this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or when Bleach finishes, whichever comes first. Somebody asked, so... We're not doing a retrospective on Bleach. That that no, would take not. a long time. No, no, no not I think that. we could just do we could just do the Eisen arc and the Quincy arc, and that's all we need to do. <laughs> Actually, it probably wouldn't take that long because you just do the fucking Karakura Town arc, the Soul Society arc, the Aronka arc, the Wakemundo arc, the Winter War Everything arc. Everything is part of the Eisen arc, though. So. It's it's probably about ten. You could probably do it in ten. Arcs. So less than Naruto, but still quite lengthy, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Take so that's it. Uh, Want to answer questions now? All right. So the answers for the questions that we asked last week, which were um, yeah, it was like uh, got, got the question again. <laughs> all right. Uh, Naruto protagonist. Uh, who would be a better protagonist than Naruto? Seth LL Seven. I still don't know. Johnny Boy. That's actually Yep. Is, he says Gara would be a great Naruto protagonist. And, He'd like to see Bleach from Kitsugaya's eyes. Yeah, I was that the question we asked for Bleach? I don't remember. Maybe. I, I thought that question was for both series. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah okay. So, <clears throat> Gara as a Naruto protagonist... I feel like would be very similar to Naruto as a Naruto protagonist, if a bit harsher and a bit realer. A lot more bloodshed. He would, a lot more yeah, he would have been he, he would have been a lot grittier. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, before, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just realized uh, Naruto would have been fun. Naruto's Haku. Saisa, what'd you say? Naruto would be Haku for Gara's story. It would be it would. crap, obviously, but he'd be the one that would impart the life lesson that would shape his character for pretty much ever. Yes. Yes, he would. That's actually quite true. Mm. And then he says, sorry about asking the question on the Bloxport page, because he's a dick. And then uh-huh, he tells him, don't right. worry about it. No, he's sorry, that sorry he's, he's not a dick for apologizing, he's a dick for saying, then I shall continue to do both, because it pisses me off. I, I said, so, I said you're keep, doing, keep doing it, it rages Casey. And that's I'm cool with that actually. Keep doing it. I hate you. Yeah, I hate you. Boy. You're the only one who cares. <laughs> so, hate Tsugaya as Bleach protagonist. Um, they did an experiment with that already. Did they? They had a movie, I think. Yeah. Oh, that was the film. Yeah, that was. That was okay. I'm not sure it was entirely through his perspective. It I feel was... like it would end too early now. Hmm. With him being dead and all. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'd like to see if I'd like to see Kenpachi. <laughs> yes, yeah, like... Let's 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 get through answers first. <laughs> we do like three chats anyway. To be honest. All right. Um, <laughs> I still love the sleeping man. So, Keith and F. Shikamaru uh, is, is his point. Uh, yeah, this is a long yeah. comment, but. Uh, Shikamaru as Naruto protagonist. It will be a lot slower. It would be a lot more to do with deception, which would be... I don't know, because I don't know how that would work on the huge scale fights that we get at the end of the series. Mm -hmm. So I have no idea how well that would work as... uh, an alternate protagonist. If they started it when he became a Chunin, it'd be very similar to um, uh, Log Horizon. Yeah. It'd have a similar oh, feel yes. to it. It would, yeah. yeah. Lee, he, he mentioned Rock Lee. He Nothing. has his own spinoff. Yeah. He does, yeah. I, Comedy I lost spinoff. Fantastic. Fantastic. We're not doing that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Konohamaru, maybe, is what he said. Uh, mm. And he likes Tatsuki as an alternate protagonist of Bleach, which 
I agree with. Yeah. I very much agree yeah, with that, I because Tatsuki was such a wasted character. Yeah. I've already said my feelings yeah. on this, and written my feelings on this, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, and he also That's mentioned he also ma- mentioned fillers that are totally canon but flesh out the backstory, which would be nice, I'd say. Wait, is this for the end of after the series has ended or something? Yeah, he's like you know, instead of filler, where it's just pointless stuff that's not going to be important. Do like a bleach filler thing. We can see how uh, Yamamoto founded Soul Society and shaped into what it is today. That would be cool. Sort of. I, I mean, it probably would be cool for a lot of people, but I just really don't care. But Yamamoto's. Well, it's it's not important, but yeah. it. It'd be pretty cool. It would be. It'd be yeah. It would be a new spin on the series because things were way different in that era. So. It would actually be productive use of filler. Yeah. Yeah. So stuff like that, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hokkaido okay. Master says, Hinata. Saisa, your opinion? I can agree with it. His reasons are good, and uh, yeah. it could be a good story, but it'd be more more political than it would be shown in. Yeah. Uh, there is the opinion from our Hinata expert. Now, what <laughs> everyone else think? I'm totally cool with it. I would be totally cool with it because uh, she's a, she's got a lot of interesting things going for her. Like, mm. and he mentions a lot of reasons. The Yakugan has a lot of untapped potential. Her family backstory is a lot more interesting. Mm. You know, you've got the whole clan politics. <clears throat> a lot more into the show. And, uh, yeah, he said Totsuki for Bleach. A lot of people like Tatsuki for Bleach. Yeah. Um, Neil Nandu. Rock Lee. All right, yeah. Fist bump. But they already made that manga, so the other option would be Sakura. Yeah, you're really burning through these for some reason. I mean, we're not actually discussing them, so we should probably do yeah. that rather than just saying, hey, this is the next one, this is the next one. Okay, you do that. I'm tired. Let's see. Uh, you know... As, since if she was a main character, it can be assumed that she would be competent and powerful at some point. So, yeah, I'd like to see that. What, the Hinata one? No, the Sakura, Sakura. one. Where does it say that one? Neil Nandu. Yeah. Does he? Oh. Yeah, that would be great, actually. I mean, I would, there, was, I would, there was a fic about he, that. I mean, it was all pretty much the only still. Pretty much the only main character that didn't get some kind of... wasn't from a background. As you know, the, the thing that really, like gets me is that she's been screwed over from the very beginning of just being useless. I mean, the bell training that we just discussed, the uh, the wave arc, where she did not do any of the fighting whatsoever. Yeah, she literally did nothing in that arc. Like, that's kind of... You gotta have a good foundation for your character. At least make them if they're not gonna be good at fighting and you're on the side with that, at least have them do something useful. Yeah. Rather than just standing around, have someone notice that she's just standing around and say something. Uh but whatever. He also threw out So yeah, th- yeah. That would be true. Yeah, he threw out he, he threw out the one he threw out the one piece suggestion of Jin Bay. Even though we didn't uh, mention One Piece, we didn't we didn't mention that, but I think it's a good shout. Yeah, that could be pretty cool because it's like Fistman uh, Karate. He's made a lot of heel face and face heel and heel face and face heel turns, and I'd I'd love to see his perspective as he's gone through all those. So, and that'd be cool. or he may very uh, very support based uh, uh, she has one attack yeah. and it's not very useful because of her own mindset yeah i would like to read a a a, a thing where she goes just completely 180 just like complete attack cuz she just kind of like i don't know breaks or something it'd be really interesting to see an mm. an attack based or he may she has that would the most be kind of terrifying. Broken attack. You can't dodge it. 
you can barely see it coming if she actually wants yeah. to kill you. <laughs> well, I would like to see that horror hero. I'm going to go look for fan fiction later. I wouldn't. I'd be terrified of that Orhime. All right. <clears throat> and next, we have Antonio K. I have never seen you commenting before, so thank you for commenting. It's pretty much appreciated. Uh, Minato might have made an amazing protagonist. His life up to his death might have been interesting to see. It would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. It's true. Yeah. I feel... I feel like it'd be too white it's, bread. It's unfair because we have not seen a lot of Minato. Well, I haven't, but that's because I hadn't seen the final arc. Uh, but, you know, he, he's kind of bland from what we have seen of him. Well, he has to be proud dad. He doesn't exactly have a lot, a lot of room for the character. Yeah, we see him as generic kind of nice guy. And, hey, I am a powerful dude by doing certain techniques. And that's about all we see of him. So, yeah. also, it could be, but we, yeah. we would need some more establishment of what his character actually was before the whole QB incident and Naruto thing. So Another shout to Lee. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Lee is the shonen protagonist you all want. <laughs> He's not the one you all need, though. <laughs> at all. <laughs> or deserve. Yeah. Taijutsu all the way. Run around kicking people. Yeah, and he doesn't have a suggestion for Bleach, so that's fine. Uh, John Perez says Jiraiya. Yes. Yes. Boy, is that a downer what, ending. Just from, just from what we know of his <laughs> life is interesting in and of itself, without even having to go into detail about it. I'd watch a show about Jiraiya. Yeah, exactly. That'd be great. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, like I said, it would be a downer ending, but, you know, it would be a very ninja-y ending. Yeah. I mean killed by the guy that he trained himself because they ended up being on opposite sides. That's... that It's a fitting ending. Yeah. You know, I think that could be a good OVA. Or yeah. something to that effect. Some of short yeah. series, like a, like the Pokemon anime was. Or the mm-hmm. Pokemon Red, I think it was. Yeah. Origins. Yeah. That was... That was Origins. I was bored by that. I stopped watching after the second episode. You know what? Screw you. <laughs> uh, he also mentions Killer B as a thing. He says he was OP. Yeah, he was OP. Yeah, this is the question from the week before. Yeah, he kind of a little bit, I guess. He's great. I love Killer B. He's he's pretty good. He was as OP as yeah. he needed to be. Yeah. Then we have Devin R, who asked a question for the, well, not even for the podcast, just a request for help, which we accommodated. Listen for more on that on the podcast. That's going to be a thing. Uh-oh. <clears throat> so, uh... Galero put a rant up. Yeah, that's, that's a rant. I probably should have trimmed this down in my head a little bit. And, uh... Um, yeah, it's it's a rant on the, on the shipping. Uh, yeah. All right, so that's about it, all the answers to our questions. Uh, let's give our answers. Is that all of them? Yes, that's all of them. So, preferred protagonist for Naruto. Let's go with that one first. Let's see. I would be fine with Lee, of course. Because he's got no regular jutsu. He's just like, I can punch people. That's about it. And I can go Super Saiyan. That's about it. Hmm. He's basically, I, I like, I like Lee. He's he's a good character. Hmm. I I'm gonna have to second the shout for Sakura because I don't think anyone actually made this point. This is an entirely different world with an entirely different set of rules, and a girl who has never been involved in any of the ninja stuff would be a great audience avatar. You're looking at things from the absolute bottom up. 
Yeah, it would make sense that she would know very little about all this stuff, and it would have to be explained to her. It makes less sense for Naruto to have to be explained everything, and they hand wave that by making him an idiot. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> for obvious reasons, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I, but I think yeah. they they could have gotten away with it if it was just Sakura because she was new to the whole concept. Mm. I like Shino as a potential protagonist. Why? Because I feel like he'd be a big cool guy. You read Worm, didn't you? <laughs> I have not. I did not. But I feel like Shino would be a big cool guy. Okay. Because I, I think I think he's a bit too. What's the word? Mysterious kind of. Yeah, thing? I know. And that's kind of for a protagonist. That's kind of why I want to see inside his head. Yeah. Enigmatic, that's the word yeah. I was looking for. He's a bit too enigmatic, because you how about, don't how about, really how about, see how about, how about, how about Choji as a protagonist? Choji could be cool. He's a, he's a bit weak source, but he could be cool. You want an inspiring character to be your protagonist. That guy the time, gave me especially, especially for Battle Manga. And he doesn't get that inspiring presence until the war arc. So... Yeah, I. If it takes place after he becomes a Chunin, I like the idea of Shikamaru being a main character, or rather, him being the one of the main characters, and then the other teams always all have their own designated leader or something like that. Mm. Which you know, Shikamaru basically is, and Naruto is basically that for oh. Team whatever they ended up calling it. What about uh, Asuma? No. 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 Just all right. I mean, the, it's probably the same thing as Jirai. He could have either an OVA or even just a single episode about him, but I can't see them making that a series. Yeah. yeah. It, I feel like it would do a lot of good in fleshing out the Saratobi family because yeah. we don't see a lot of Hiruzen aside from, you know, hey, I'm like your grandfather, Naruto. Yay! That's about all we see of him, so... I'd like to see a little bit more of Sai, because he, you know, is a member of the Foundation. To see more of their inner workings. Mm. That would be a depressing series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just, just based on Kenshi's interpretation alone of they have to kill the partner they've worked with their entire lives to graduate. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I was actually thinking of Kenji's fix when I when I mentioned that. Yeah. Oh well. Um any other shouts for protagonists? For Naruto? Yahiko. Do it. Pain, do you mean? The orange Wait, guy. No, he was he was dead, so Yeah. Yeah, he was he died His like dead really friend. early. <laughs> His dead friend. <laughs> do it. I don't even know what that would be. I think I Ken's either. just fucking <laughs> I'm, with you. Um, I, I'm still saying Lee. I'm standing by Lee as my number one pick. My draft and, pick. Of course you are. I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of split between uh, Shikamaru, Hinata, and Sakura. Since they're, they're completely different gen, uh, genres. I was going to say gender. <laughs> genders. Whatever. Genders. Genres of stories. So, I don't know, they could all be valid. One's a guy, one's a girl, and one's Sakura. <laughs> Part of me wants to say Neji. Oh, that that would be a slog in the early. I know. Yeah, chapters. that's why I don't oh, want yeah. to say it. <laughs> that's why I need Lee. Lee's motivational. Because I love Neji afterwards. After the tuning exams, I love Neji. But I feel like you could have two episodes of he is a miserable fucker, and this is like just before the tuning exam finals happen. And then we have the Naruto fight with with Neji, and that be that would be the turning point. Mm-hmm. So we get established why he's miserable and a prick, and then Naruto he sort of reveals all the clan's dirty laundry, and then all this stuff happens, and then he's a decent guy, and he learns to be a decent guy. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be... I I like that shout, Kenji. That's a good one. Uh, and nobody said Ido. 
No one knows a damn thing about Eno aside from the fact that she's a girly girl. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. That's all we need to know. I mean, th- it would just be a more confusing version of Sakura's because then things would be need need to be explained to her, and she's a clan heir or heiress rather. And yeah, she would know everything at this point. Well, she very much should. If she doesn't, then that's whatever. Right. Yeah. So, Bleach alternate protagonists. Uh, could... I love Tatsuki so much, but I can't say it because it's not fair. So. Because Tatsuki is the obvious pick because yeah. she's the best character in the series. I mentioned Kago before. You did. Um, but also, I'd like to see early day Kenpachi. Not necessarily Kenpachi in his current form, but young Kenpachi, that sort of, that backstory. Hmm. I feel like that could be very interesting. I want Gin, Gin Ichimaru. Yeah, that gene would be a weird one. That that, that would that's be cool. interesting. Mm-hmm. You know what? I, I'd be okay with seeing a series based around um, uh, Ichigo's dad. Another one that I would actually really like to see is an OVA. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know what? Eisen. I was going to say that, but I stopped myself. We turn this shit into Death Note. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> I hated Death Note, to be honest. I don't think I'd like that. I did, too. I thought it was okay. From the end of I the... love the hamminess. I was like, who am I rooting for here? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody at all. You just watch because it's entertaining. Yeah. <sighs> So, yeah, I think that covers it. Uh, any last thoughts on the Naruto finale? Because that's another question we asked. I think I've already given my thoughts in that it was the best we could have expected from the author. Mm. I feel bad because I didn't care. I think that's the worst possible thing. Yeah, same here. Oh. That's that's a pretty damning thing to say, that is. Yeah, I mean, didn't care. Literally, all of the fiction you wrote is based around this one series in some capacity, yeah. and you didn't care about the ending. I checked out halfway through the war arc. I was like, oh. I'm just doing, I'm keeping up with this because I have to keep up with it. I didn't care about it anymore. That's actually made me, made me a little bit depressed. Yeah. That actually has. That's really sad. Yeah. Uh-huh. At the yeah. very least, it resolved things. Mm. That's all I was hoping for. It didn't resolve one thing, as I think Galero mentions. No, not Galero. Who was it? Uh... The guy that had the rant on shipping? It was someone else. Yeah, Neil mentioned it. What the fuck happened to Rochimaru? Yeah, you know what? He was dead, and then he wasn't. I like, but it wasn't through the resurrection jutsu, so it was okay. So he probably lived through it somehow. Yeah, he's alive, right? Yeah, now. it's fine. It's fine. I just, I'm glad that uh, it looks like it's over. Is what I'm. Is what I can yeah. applaud it for. They might say the whole, hey, we're going to do some more spin-off stuff. With, hey, this is going to be stuff about Kakashi. And... No, it's 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 pretty much over, over. It's over. Yeah. It's done. I mean, sure, there's the children, but it's done. And you don't care about that. No one cares yeah. about the children. <laughs> what the hell kind of story could you tell about them at this point? <laughs> it's like freaking uh, Super End of Dragon Ball GT. It's like, we got Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr., despite them being their grandkids, great-grandkids. Yeah, Goku disappears to, you know, go into the future and save the day there, probably, I guess. There was, because he lives there forever was, now. There was an actual movie, post-GT, focused on Goku Jr., requiring Super Saiyan. I remember that. And then it was done. And they're like, no, we're done. 
Uh, and in turn, we are in fact also done because we just finished questions. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for your comments. Uh, questions for this week were bleach. What was the question? Uh, shit. You had no <laughs> I did not write it down. Um, we asked it in the middle of the episode. Go find it. <laughs> yeah, you, you do that. You enjoy looking for that question. Because, oh, God. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, man. Your host, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we might, Casey will probably find it in editing and then probably put it in the description or something. No, I won't. I literally just put it into Audacity, export it if it needs it. And, and Casey I don't won't... even do that anymore. I just turn it into a video and put it up. Jesus Christ, I don't know. Casey uh... won't find it, so you guys pay attention. Uh, do bleach. all the work. Bleach. I'm trying to put that and think Someone come up with a narrative question while I'm thinking. Um, um, um. So if Naruto I... mysteriously developed a bloodline or something like that, uh, what would you like to see? Or, what is your favorite jutsu ever of all time? It's a good one, too. And why? Uh, I like the shadow clone jutsu because it takes clones of you instead of shadows. <laughs> that is honestly a valid answer. I don't mind seeing that. I like, to, I like the shadow clone jutsu because of that clone. No, that's, that's, why, awesome. that's, why, I can't, that's why I can't pick Shadow Clone Jutsu, because there can only be one of me. There can't be a me that's better than me. All right? <laughs> that would just break the universe. When you have... That's the thing about Shadow Clones. They're all used that are worse than you, because they die in one hit. That clone was not worse than Naruto at <laughs> He that was point better than Naruto. But Naruto himself sets a pretty fucking low bar, let's be honest. Pretty much, yeah. I don't need a me that handles more shit than me. I've got to be the end all. So no Shadow Clones. <laughs> Viewers... Yeah. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Christ, there has got to be... What was the... Fuck. Um, yeah. You go find that question. It was in the Bleach segment. It was like 25 minutes in, somewhere around there. So, yeah. <laughs> God, I suck. I really don't remember uh, what we were talking about when we made the question. <laughs> neither do I. Oh, if they can't find that one specifically for Bleach, what is your favorite uh, group or race of people in that? The Vi- Rancar, oh, the Va- Vizards, Shinigami? That's a better question. We'll use that question. If you, if you feel like finding the other question, go ahead, but forget, that's the good question. Good if we do find the other question, post it in the comments so everybody else can read it. <laughs> so we can find out how stupid we were? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll so, that. Thanks. Thanks for listening. This was Christ. Next time we get to the part that you all love, Bleach six oh five or six oh six and the tuning exams of Naruto. Oh, everyone loves the tuning exams. Oh yeah. Everybody yeah. loves them. Can't go wrong with a good tournament arc. You really can't. I mean it's it's cool. Yeah. Joe's you can't go wrong with a bad tournament arc, but you can't go yeah. wrong with a good one. So thanks for listening. It was fun, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Idiocy aside, you know. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. See ya.